So if you have not seen my previous video, I claimed a base and I defended it with decent defenses and I placed a whole bunch of spawners as well as making the interior design. And this episode is going to be a follow up to that. So if you haven't checked it out, I would recommend checking it out before you watch this video. But apart from that, we will be placing a couple more spawners in there trying to get as much F top value as we possibly can. And as well as that, the main thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting a lot more defenses on it because right now it's just got two layers of, of obsidian, which is pretty easy to destroy. So obviously we got to do more than that. So yeah. Anyways, if you do go on to enjoy this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe and join my Discord. I'll be doing more giveaways on there, but apart from that, let's begin. So I placed on some more spawners here, and as you can see, we're at 215 out of 256, and we have a value of literally 112 million. So if I go back to slash spawn, going to slash spawn, top factions by value, it hasn't updated yet, but we're at... We're second place right here. We, right now it says we have 78 million. But yeah, it should be at like 100 million. All right, now before we can begin, I really want to make sure that this area is fully clear for a couple of layers so that I have, I have room to put all the defenses I want to put on this. So first, I'm going to make plenty of room for making defenses, and then I'll cut back. Alright, so I've got the basic design for the base. I have, I'm gonna have four walls here and then I'm gonna make one final obsidian shell around it. But for now, I would say this is pretty good. So if I go to faction shop here, I can actually buy a uh, cobblestone wall generators. So I think we're just gonna, we're gonna get a stack of these and see what they do. Okay, if I just get a 16 one, and if I just try placing it like right here, it just goes up to here. Okay, that's good. So I just gotta get a whole bunch of these now.
Alright, so we have finished generating all of the walls now, other than the outer shell, which we will do last, but for now, I would say this is pretty good. I'm gonna now make water across all of these layers and on top of this obsidian here, so this is gonna take a while. We are now placing the final water buckets. Look at this, our entire base now has water on it. I could do the outside layer and I might do that later, but for now, this is looking pretty good. So the final thing we're gonna do is literally put a massive layer of obsidian all around the base. I think what I might end up doing though is just put it over the top like this and then put water on it, just so that I can get one more layer on the top.
So here we are putting on the final touches. We have finished the water and now we're just waiting for the water to just slowly work its way over. And as it does it, it's creating all source blocks and eventually the whole base will look like this. We got four layers of cobblestone before we can get into our two layers of obsidian. And then if all of that happens, you can get into my base. And these are all our spawners. I have condensed most of them into 10 stacks. And if I do slash F info, Right here, I've got 235 out of 256 slots used, and after that, all I have to do is upgrade my faction to certain levels. I think if I can hit level 80, then I can place like 700 spawners total, so that'll easily be able to get us more F-top value, and ideally, we could potentially get F-top 1 by the end of this season for spawner value. Anyways, I know these videos haven't been much other than creating my base and stuff, but uh, next video, I will be doing more stuff, not, not base related stuff, and apart from that, I am on F-Top 2, pretty cool, and other than that, I will see you all in my next video, peace out.